Birthdays. Who would you like to invite to on your birthday party? A family member? A best friend? A gorgeous girl? A handsome boy? Or an elephant? Did I say elephant? Yes, you heard it correct. Good afternoon fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends. I am Nidhi Gupta and it was me who wanted to invite an elephant on my sixth birthday. That is because elephant is not only my favorite animal, but I also wanted to have a pleasure excursion all alone with him. That was the day my father must be cursing himself, thinking, why did I even bother asking her for a gift? I am a typical alien who is never short of enthusiasm. I was born in Delhi and raised in NCR. Being a single child, I know the value of having siblings and what they need in life. But not having them makes me dawn of the family. Do you know what Nidhi means? Yeah. Nidhi means treasure and it has the same meaning in Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam. I always saw the world as a Karan Johar's movie and had Ishkwala love at the age of 10. The biggest benefit of having your crush in the school is 100% attendance. <laughs> Alas, as with all crushes, it got crushed with time. I grew stronger when my mom dad met with a life-threatening accident followed by a series of surgeries. That was the time when I felt life is more than just a glossy Karan Johar's movie. My grandmother's death made me realize not everything in this world is eternal. We need to make a best use of each moment. My father, who is a technical gazetted officer in Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, always used to tell, open your books, keep away your mobile and start studying. But I always felt these stunts are performed by highly qualified people and decided not to try them. <laughs> then I took a big step and broke up my relationship with the books. It was enough. There was no understanding between us. Somehow, with a great difficulty, I completed my schooling from DAV Public School. Unfortunately, my mom is a maths teacher. Let me clarify, my mom is a teacher. That is not unfortunate. But I was in the same school where she is teacher. That was unfortunate. Because of which I never got a chance to plan a great bunking mission in my school life. Here comes the intoxicating college days. Instead of thinking about engineering, I was busy in planning my first bunk. My all friends decided to bunk the college on the next school movie release. But I was in such a hurry to accomplish a task of my first bunk that I made everyone bunk in a very first week of the college. And we ended up watching Mangal Pandey. <laughs> you know, some fun is difficult to describe in words. It's like asking a child, how much does he enjoy by playing a small game? A game may seem too boring to an adult, but a child enjoys it optimally. It was an incredible experience for me. And there are some benefits of bunking class as well. When we bunk the class, we don't get attendance. And then we go up to the teacher asking for some help. We used to call this as jugaad. <laughs> because of which a harmony between teacher and a student increases. You know what I mean. I graduated in 2010. And a day arrived when I joined Oracle. I work on Oracle Apps ERP systems on order to cache modules. I am in Alcoa project. Alcoa is aluminium company of America and it's world's largest producer of aluminium. It's been 3.5 years working with Oracle and Alcoa. And I must say, it's pretty interesting. I can see a phenomenal changes in myself during the last three years. I became very close to my family, realized the importance of staying at home, made new friends, won prizes, completed certification. It's been wonderful three years. 
I could not have asked for better. Happiness to me is playing with balloons, dancing in a rain, making a sandcastle on a beach, jumping on a road with excitement, eating a double cheese pizza with extra cheese and a butter naan with extra butter. <laughs> so with this, I would like to conclude by saying, life is an achievement. We can't get everything, but surely we love and cherish what we get. So cherish in the moments, now and forever, hoping this journey continues the same and for long. Over to you, Toastmasters.